Okay, so here I am. I've got the camera set up from a bit better distance to show the whole overall setup here. And uh, I'm going to have to, of course, step in front of it when I try to show you what I'm talking about. And uh, so I have to do that, but I don't have a camera that's got a wide enough field of view. Uh, and I don't have a shop big enough to put it far enough back to be able to show the whole thing. So I'm going to end up sitting in the way of it, I'm sure. Anyway, I have come up near my number, which happens in this case to be number 17. I'm not touching by going in there, just this tiny bit. But now, I'm, all I'm going to do is advance the screw the thickness of a line, and that's it. Now, if I just go in there, there will still be no... Yeah, you can't see it, but there is no scratch on the, on the uh, ink. If I do this, rattle the carriage back and forth, the hand wheel, okay? <clears throat> my mic just fell off. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my head in here at all. Anyhow. We'll see if I, I'm trying to get the mic back on. Now there is a very tiny line, a very, very tiny line, illustrating to me that, okay, I'll zoom back in here. I'll take this off and I'll have to do this by hand. trying to get to see if I can focus on that. Can you see it? There you go. There's that little tiny line, very, very tiny line, which is right up here. That's all I have. And if you remember, I did not advance this, the cross slide with the screw. It advanced itself by my rattling the carriage back and forth initiating a vibration in there which relaxes the tension on the screw. This is vital to turning super accurately with what's, in this case, it's an old timey lathe and it's in decent shape but it's, there's nothing sophisticated about it and this way like if you're doing bearing bores, if you're trying to do a super super high tolerance hole for whatever, for pressing a bearing into or by having a running fit on a bushing, you can utilize this, and you can do the same thing in a milling machine, too. If you're trying to take just a tiny, tiny uh, dusting cut off of something, do not back off the screw and come back up to the number. Leave it on that number. Now, like in, in the case of this bore, you, when you finish with the bore, you back, you shut the machine down, then back it out without touching the screw. Then you advance it with that method I showed you just a couple tenths at a time. So anyhow, that's what, it's, that's what it's going to be, and I'm going to finish this bore and see if I can get the type of finish, that, uh, the type of fit that I want.